Hey guys, you ready to play the sustainability lens game? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. awesome. Jack, yeah, I'm spin in. that spinner. Okay. Eight, Eleven. One, Value proposition, exchange. How can product service exceed customers' needs? Ensure your product is uh, uh, usable and accessible for those who need it. Tell me what that is, Noah. Uh, so with number 11, we're gonna look at sustainable cities and communities. Oh, fantastic. So as long as you relate that card to that uh, idea, that's gonna be really helpful. Excellent. Uh, can I grab some coins and see what we find out? Yeah. Absolutely, let's see what we got here. Ooh, transparent pricing, fair trade, certified organic. Can we possibly use those in our, in our value proposition for our community development? Yeah, definitely. Uh, those are some great ideas, and you can definitely relate those to that. Excellent, great. How about we write those down, Stephen, trying to create a proper exchange for what we're creating right here? Awesome. So looking at fair trade then. Mm -hmm. uh, four. Awesome. Um, so looking at this, so I got a resources uh, card, which is different than exchange. So uh, how can your product or service exceed customer needs? So promote how your product slash service ties in with sustainable development goals. So looking at a maker space, one thing that I think that would really benefit the community, um, I'm not quite sure. Is it okay if I grab a few coins Absolutely, just for some ahead. ideas? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Oops. That's fine. Um, not that one. I like bicycles. I think that's a really good idea. I love bicycles um, too. So one of the things that I know the lo locally they've done is they just started up an electric bike borrowing mm. system at the library in Brattleboro. Oh, fantastic. Um, so if we could incorporate something like that near us, um, like instead of commuting to uh, the makerspace by car, maybe having a lot of bicycles that we could use um, for people to commute. It would save parking space, and it would also help save the environment by not using more gasoline-powered cars. Oh, fantastic. That's perfect. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. Great job. Do you want to roll, Jack? Yes. Mm. Eleven. Uh, mm, value proposition, health. Uh, how can, you, how can your product or service exceed customer needs? Uh, have SDGs featured prominently in product and services and tie these with local community meeting? Let's see, um, what do we have here? Uh, we have the uh, cross-promote other events and, uh, and a refill option. Hmm. What are the cross-promote uh, other events? Uh, cross-promoting other events. Uh, so seeking opportunities uh, to partner with others to offer customers complimentary serv uh, products or services, creating win-win solutions. Sounds fantastic. So can you think of any businesses locally that would be able to help cross uh, train with maybe a mar maker space here in Putney? Well, um, may well maybe you have a, uh, a, a, um, an, uh, an artist company or a... Um, or a or um, farming. Or, yeah. Or you could have that or, or, or architecture. Either of those, perhaps you could have um, you could have them give out um, uh, Lego models to uh, you know to people who uh, who um, who have a passion for um, for building and whatnot, or um, or just um, or just or just simply playing, to and um, and and you assign them to build certain models mm -hmm. or of their own making to see you know if you can if they can get any ideas from them. Yeah, so bringing in some local artisans, farmers, and, and farmers and, too, yeah. with like their equipment and things like that, they can share the makerspace and hire people out if people want to work in the farm and work in that industry of farming. That can also awesome. be applied to the win-win situation for our local farmers around Putney area. So that applies to health. So bringing in local businesses, uh, such as artisans and farming. Um, awesome. I'll roll one last time. And then that's a four. Getting lucky on those rolls. Uh, so become an example of how doing good as an organization can help others enable users to meet new ethical consumption goals. Um, so with that, some good ideas. Um, Maybe making sure that the makerspace um, can help promote uh, clean solar energy. I know that something that we're doing here in town is adding new solar arrays uh, so that the town can r run off more renewable energy sources. So maybe 
um, making uh, some spaces in the makerspace so that people can find and learn more about renewable energy sources so that Putney can become more energy independent yeah, instead of relying on the grid. Over yeah. and over again for people yeah. who are in the renewable energy sources. Good idea. No? Yeah. Excellent so helping idea. local government to create policy, uh, perhaps to incentivize uh, clean energy and renewable energy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. And also, you know, whatever this with the makerspace we're creating, you're gonna, there's going to be excess materials that will be wasted and cast aside. We can probably recycle those materials for other things and not have to like throw everything out in a landfill. That to me seems like a good idea too as well. And awesome. the fact that it also sets a good example for um, for uh, for future entrepreneurs is just um, well, well, it's just the kind of example that we need because you know we need you know more renew renewability. Get the business booming. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that was a great idea to find out uh, about our value proposition for our uh, business model canvas. Uh, maybe next time we'll work on uh, finding out some revenue streams or even maybe our key partners. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, All right. totally. Well, it was fun playing with you guys. We'll, we'll make sure to do it again. Let's yeah. get this business and let's get it going. Yeah. Let's do this again next time. All right. Makes sense.